Betty, Alice, Brenda, good to see you guys. How are you doing today? Everybody good? Excellent. 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 Oh, we are going to have fun today. I've been so looking forward to getting started with these wild kingdom, what are, wild, what are they called? Animal kingdom cards. Oh, they are so fun. So fun. Beautiful, beautiful. So we are going to have a very good time. All right. Let's take a look at what we're going to make today. Margie likes to, you want to um, go ahead and oh, put me yeah, on yeah, yeah. the lower camera. Margie likes to call this the infinity card because she thinks it looks like an infinity sign. So the hummingbirds are together for life. Didn't you call it? A Zen diagram. Oh, a Zen diagram. Excuse me. <laughs> she called it a Zen diagram. Okay. And then we've got the peacocks with the... Kathy girl bow. Let's tie that together. We've got the peacocks. I just couldn't cut these tail feathers off. So I had to make this a, a four by eight card because they're just so beautiful. Can you arrow down Margie? There we go. And here's the flamingos. <laughs> And here's another Flamingos. I love these cards. They're so much fun. Oh, you saw the, uh, the Olympic symbol. Okay. Well, lots of different symbology here. Whether it's coming together as a world or whether it's Zen. I just thought they looked kind of cool <laughs> together. Um, both toppers were small and I either needed to make two small cards or one bigger one and I was playing with them and I laid them out and I thought, oh, I really like that. There's a little trick in getting these together though. So let's, let's get going with things. We'll take a look at our kit first. You know, there's too many boxes in the shop when you see Brittany stepping over boxes to get to her desk over there. She says she didn't fall, so it's all okay. All right. <laughs> you got ribbon. You got flowers. Pretty little flowers. You've got a filigree die cut. You've got some background paper for, you'll either have this color or this color for your hummingbirds. Both will look great. So today I'm going to do the pink one. You will have one sheet. Oh yeah, you have one seven by seven. You have two DL Mary. You have one European A6 Mary. You have envelopes for all of our cards, of course. You've got DL cards. You've got European A6. And you've got a five by two five by sevens. I guess that's right. Two five by sevens. You've got a leaf cut out. And we've got our kit itself. I'll show you where we're starting. This is the one I just could not cut off. I had to have it just like it was. The flamingos. And here's her tupper sheet. So let's get going. Hi, Mary R. Welcome, friend. Okay. Now, oh, and I didn't even say we get foam squares and you get uh, jewel stickers as well. So let's start with something easy as usual. I'm also going to plug in my hot glue gun. Hot glue is not absolutely required, but it will make the fixing your 
flowers on easier. So I'm going to plug in my hot glue gun. So when I'm ready for it, it's ready for me. Oh, it definitely goes that way. There we go. Ooh, this doesn't want to go to the end. You want me to work on it? No, I just got to move my plugs around a little bit. <laughs> Those oh. extension cords are so picky, aren't they? Well, it's just weird. It doesn't want to go in there. There we go. And I got it. It's the toughest jobs I have the worst time with, guys. <laughs> All right. Hello, Stephanie. <clears throat> let's do the let's do the DL flamingo first. Or no, the DL peacock. I'm in trouble with I can't even tell you what the bird is. This is an easy but beautiful one. This is where we're going to start. So let's get out one of our DL cards. We need some tape. Okay. about the hot versus cold in these different areas. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, I'm going to cover my card with my Miri. I'm using this wide tape, so just a couple of pieces to probably get the job done, but just force of habit, I'm going to put on three. <laughs> Rub my tape down. And I have my mirror board here. Okay, you'll have a little bit extra usually to play with, although this one is a real tight fit. I said I need extra, I may not have any extra. This is a real tight fit on this one. The most important measure to get lined up right is your fold line. Yeah, see, this is going to be a little bit shy in a couple places, which is okay, because I can fix that, because you've seen me fix that lots of times before. Push back my paper cutter just a little bit, and I have a tiny bit of white showing here. I have ever so tiny bit on the top of it. Just use my trimmer. Line that card up good, and I'm gonna just trim a super fine line off the top. Mary R is asking if everybody is working along. I don't know. Is anybody working along? Are you guys working with me today? Alice is watching and taking care. Okay, that should take care of it right there, and it does. All right. So I've got my mirror board covering my card. I'm going to go ahead and measure my DL card. And it comes in at four inches even. Oh, so, is oh yay. Great. And it sounds like based on how Mary asked the question, I bet you that Mary is working along. I'm going to cut my card since my... Um, my card is four inches even. I'm going to cut my card stock to three and three quarters wide. And once I match it up and see if I like everything, I will. I'm going to trim that just a tad more. Andrea has the full kit but has a migraine. I'm sorry, Andrea. Oh gosh. Totally understand. 
Jordan gets those. Margie gets those too. That is not fun. I'm sorry. I'm having to deal with that. Now I'm going to take about a quarter of an inch off the bottom of my card. And then I'm going to try matching it up. See if I like it. I think I could use just a <laughs> tiny bit more. Alice says your, your shirt is blending in with the peacocks. Oh, <laughs> I actually wore this shirt on purpose because it's closest I had to the peacocks. <laughs> okay, so now we got a nice border around everything. Now, did I put any, I did not put any bows or anything on this. I just kept this really, really simple because the cardstock it itself out. huh it really stands out yeah it's beautiful the only thing i added or well, i added two things i added some purple dots which i'm gonna put on there and i used my little hope you have a beautiful birthday and that's it because it just doesn't want any more than that. I'm going to go ahead and put my topper down. Yeah, it's just these colors in this. They've really outdone themselves with the colors in this kit. And they're beautiful. Put my tape on the back. And... I'm going to... Create my little tape flags, exposing about an inch of adhesive at the top so I can line this up and <clears throat> get it on here straight. I don't have no worries at all about it. And I like how that looks. I'll go ahead and tap that down at the top where the adhesive is exposed. I'll put my hand on it firmly and pull my tape flags out. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to take our purple dots. And the only thing that I did to this card, let's show you with and without. I wanted to really accentuate the peacock feathers. So I put a little holographic dot in the corner or in the middle of each of the bright peacock feathers. It works perfect because it makes it look more stand out with the eye. The dimensional. The yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for was making those peacock feathers just a little bit more dimensional. And so I'm going to put my little tiny, we're using the little tiny ones this time. <laughs> and yeah, these are the ones that can flip all over the place. I should use them. Let me show you what I do. And it gives me some modicum of control. That doesn't mean that I won't still go into the house tonight with them all over me. But I actually bend my sticker sheet and I pull them off on my finger first. Then I take my tweezers and I take them off my finger, which I just did and lost the first one. So <laughs> you can see how much... Margie feels vindicated because <laughs> no, no, I like I, to tease Margie about losing her. I, her I stickers. lose them everywhere. <laughs> Margie got hit in the eye with one once with her glasses on. Now I don't know how she managed to do that. I hit them straight on the white part of my eye. <laughs> Weirdest thing ever. If you put them on your finger, guys, they won't end up in your eyeball. <laughs> well, if you try and take them directly off the sheet, they flip. You know, when you go to yeah. grab the edge of them, they flip up. That's why I roll them off on my finger first, because it does give me more control. And I can take quite a few of them at once and maintain some level of control over them. Diane has joined us. And Hi, the question Diane. is, how is your retirement going, Diane, from Alice? Oh, I've got one on the front of me already. Ah, her retirement starts next week. 
Well, she's going to have lots of time for crafting now. Although, I don't know. You know, when, people, when everybody you finds out that. you're available, <laughs> then your available time seems to dissipate. That's what I understand. Now, how many more of these I'm wearing to it? Come on. I got two of them stuck together here. There we go. I love my little needle nose tweezers. Although I have told Margie and Brittany, don't let me get any more because I have four pairs of them sitting here. <laughs> so I must love them a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> I have. I'm just about to get some more stickers and I have two more in my hand. Diane, first thing I need to do is organize my crafter. Uh -huh. Let the crafting begin. And Mary R. wants to know when Bob comes home. Bob comes home tomorrow. Actually, Bryce is going to meet Paula halfway between here and Spokane and pick him up in a little town called the Dalles, I think. Is it the Dalles or Red River? One of those two. The, probably the Dalles. Yeah, I think They're it's the Dalles that's further. Right? Yeah, uh, probably. Yeah. So he comes home tomorrow. Teddy's going to be so excited. I asked Bryce if he was going to take Ted with him to go get Bob. He said, absolutely not. <laughs> I know Bob would be excited about that. But, and so would Teddy. But evidently, Bryce thought the trauma of the trip would be too much for him. <laughs> Teddy will be so excited to get his Bob back, though. What did I do? There's my foam stars. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bob has called us several times from Spokane. He wants to FaceTime with us. He doesn't <laughs> under, He doesn't know the word FaceTime, but he says, I want to do the picture phone. And... He has called to talk to his dog. <laughs> he doesn't have the time of day for the rest of us, but he wants to talk to that dog. <laughs> his dog. <laughs> he calls him and says, Teddy, trying to get his attention. Teddy, Teddy, where's my puppy? <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, first card's done, guys. There we go. Three foam squares on the back of the little tag, and it's beautiful. <clears throat> okay, one down. All right, let's do our next one. We'll go ahead and do the next peacock. Wait, a so we've got this card to do. The first thing we're going to want to do is tie our Kathy bow. So I'm getting my wider of the two blueberry comb. And are you ready, Betty? Let's do this together. <laughs> We're going to do a two. I'm going to do two, three, three, four, five. Let's do three. Three. And three. So you got a little narrow one to start with. Four. And four. We're going to do a five. And five. We're going to do a four. And four. We're going to do a three 
and three. I'm going to scooch everything down on our comb. We're going to put the ribbon through the hole. There you are. So it is so sweet because Teddy's doing FaceTime calls for a wrap up. We're going to tie this off in a half knot. Fortunately, our Gans is not directional, so we don't have to worry about which way our ribbon's facing. Hold that nice reason and why I'm, I'm drawn to organza and got, crepe. <laughs> There's no wrong or right side. <laughs> and there we go. There's our absolutely stunningly beautiful Kathy bow. Just pull it off the comb and it looks just like that. Isn't that pretty? It, it really, this ribbon lends itself really, really well to um, the Kathy bow, the both the organza and the crepe because they're so flat. Mm -hmm. If the ribbon is bulkier, you'll have more of a problem tying this bow. Right. But if the ribbon is nice and flat like these are, piece of cake. Let's put some whale tails on this. Which... Oh, look at the scissors. I had my scissors here just a second ago, but I don't know what I... I sharpened these last night, okay, so they perfect. should be in pretty good shape. I had a good vacation, Mary R. I basically did almost, almost nothing, <laughs> which around my house is amazing. So since I left my house, I got to do nothing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put a little best glue ever on the back of here because it's not secured otherwise so I'm gonna and then we'll stand around here and get my best glue ever out I think this is the not open one no? is it yeah this is the open one No, that was it to begin with. <laughs> Don't mind me, I just can't seem to figure out which way's up today. Okay, I need to put a little pen in my best glue ever here. Just open that up a little bit. And I'm going to put a very, very light amount the best clue ever on the back here. I want that to dry sometime today. So, and remember that the best clue ever, the only times I ever hear from people that the best clue ever doesn't work is when they are forgetting to let it dry. If you let it dry, it's going to dry into a glue dot, but you have to let it dry excuse me, before you attach it, which seems totally contrary to the way it should be in the world, but super duper important. Best glue ever is just the best as long as you use it right, but it has to dry before you can put it on. I don't even care what the bottle says, just let it dry before you put it on. It's a mess if you don't. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, this one, you can see I did not put mirror board down first. We had nice, heavy foiling on our cardstock. We had nice, heavy foiling on the toppers. And I just thought it looked better without mirror board behind it. Or at least it didn't need Mary to make it beautiful. So I did hear from Craft Style this week. They are shipping our 5 by 7 white cards. So. Yay! We will have them soon. We will also have more DL and we're not actually out, but we're running out of DL and, and European A6. We have those coming also. We also have Easy Peelies coming, which we've been out of for months. So there we go. Yay us. We 
got, let Bryce and I have an anniversary coming up. What's the date today? The 17th. Tomorrow. <laughs> we have an anniversary coming up. Let's see, what is this one? This one is, it's 2021. This will be 27 years tomorrow. And between our anniversary and Father's Day and just a nice little gift from Paula because um, she appreciates everything we're doing with Dad. Paula is Bryce's sister. She sent us a very nice gift certificate from Airbnb. And we have scheduled an oceanfront house. It's a house, but it's just going to be the two of us. An oceanfront house in, I think it's August. Are you saying Lauren's not invited? Nobody's invited. <laughs> just my hubby and me. We're going to go and, and we're going to stay at a house that's on a cliff overlooking the ocean. And we are going to spend three days there. And yes, I need to get that on the calendar too because we won't have classes that weekend. But it will be oh so good for us to just have some us time. And Lauren's going to take care of Grandpa. I was just about to say, and, and Grandpa gets to be... Lauren and Corey are hanging out. Corey chimed in too. Aww. He said, I'll come and stay and help Lauren take care of Grandpa. Between the two of us, we can surely do this. <laughs> um, Corey, they used to work here as Lauren's best friend. and She was there when we were talking about taking our vacation. And it's not that far from here, but... Uh, it was already hard with things beginning to open up from COVID. It was already hard to find beach houses. I couldn't believe it. A lot of them weren't available till September or October already. That doesn't surprise me, especially because, you know, you're not usually living in other people's space. So, so long as it's clean yeah. and sanitized, then I can totally see that would happen. Okay. I'm taking this one out. Because we have this really charming foiling in the background of this card. And I didn't want to cover it up. You can make the choice if you want to cover it up. But I chose not to. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Is... See there? The little notch area on the... I thought that just was really pretty showing through. So I did not cover that up. So I'm going to put my outside ring up on some foam squares. Andrea is celebrating Congratulations, Andrea. <clears throat> okay. We have these little foam squares in this kit. I'm just going to put these every inch or so around my frame. Hi, Mary T. How you doing? Welcome, friend. I'll take a picture of the ocean from our room so you guys can see what the beautiful Oregon coast looks like. It's gorgeous. Although I don't know if there's any rocks off the coast there. Um, we're down a little bit further we're down to Newport at this one. So I don't think there's any rocks there. But the cliff with a little shrubbery and stuff. And then the ocean below should be really pretty. Said, I guess we both got keepers. I definitely think you're right. And Mary R says, Who is going to take care of Teddy? 
um, Lauren and, well, Grandpa's home, so Grandpa and Lauren and Corey will have Teddy, <clears throat> Teddy duty. <clears throat> so that should be good. She is from Seattle. Oh, okay. She was trying to remember whether she was from New York. She's from Seattle. And you're not too far from you. No. You're actually close enough for a day trip down if you wanted to come and see us for one of our afternoon classes when we get back up and going on site. <coughs> I get lots and lots of inquiries about when our Crafty Friends group is going to get going again. And I've decided that once they lift all of the restrictions on small get togethers, you know, and all the business guidelines are, are good, we'll go ahead and open Crafty Friends back up. But I'm waiting for all of the business restrictions to be lifted. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now let's get our sticker sheet back out here. So we're done with it. And we're going to put three small stickers. I'm going to show you how I centered this. I came just a little further down from the top so that I'd have plenty of room for my bow and my tag to come out to the side. And then I'm going to put my little stickers right here. So I'm going to put a little row of three of these stickers right here from the corner. I'll probably up a quarter of an inch or so. I didn't get that very straight. Thankfully, these are liftable. I'll put that there. One more to the side here. Oh, okay, I flipped that one. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> I'll wear it later. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm done in the house after I've worked with these stickers and looked in the mirror and I've got them in my hair. <laughs> okay, let's look at our best glue ever on our bow. We have a tiny bit of white left up in one side, so I'm going to wait just a minute. See that? Anywhere you see white that needs to be gone, so I'm going to leave that for a minute. I can go ahead and put my tag on, I think. So we'll go ahead and do that. I like to have these tags come out from under the bow as if they're tied in, but I don't want to work that hard. I just lay them on there and then put the bow over it. <laughs> Why would you want to lay work that hard? <laughs> Thank you. There you are. I like these cards. I like all of these cards so far. The set I was probably the least impressed with out of this one was the butterflies, believe it or not. But I worked on those last night, and I have a new show and tell. I don't have them glued together yet, but you're going to see them before they're ever glued together. I laid them all out last night, and... The, um, oh, there's the one I lost. I see a couple more over here <laughs> on my paper. I see some of the little ones. We're going to use those. Oh, actually, we're going to use those again now. I forgot we have. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I got these everywhere. <laughs> okay. I found two on my paper stack. I'll go ahead and put those in the eyes of our and then I see one over here. I don't know if it's from this batch or the ones I've done earlier. This could be a silver. Nope, oh, it's purple. I found it on my stand over here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to bend another row. I'm going to pick those up. It's really easy to design beautiful things when you have beautiful materials to work with. I've said that before. Hunky Dory just really outdid themselves with this kit, I gotta say. My favorite is the frogs. And the frog one? I haven't, figure. I haven't tried the frog yet. This frog and the it's, swan. It's quirky. Interesting um, combination to do that elegant swan and the little quirky frog together. Maybe they think quirky and elegant can live in the same space. <laughs> <laughs> now you could take these on out. I mean, you have plenty, plenty, plenty of these stickers. If you wanted to go out and do these into the eyes of the feathers on the border, you certainly could do that. You have plenty of Plenty of stickers to do it. Let's see how we're doing now. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking good now. I'm going to go ahead and put this bow on. I want to put the bow at a little bit of an angle like the tag. There we go. There it is, guys. Beautiful. Okay, that's two done. All right. How about if we do a, let's do the peacock cardstock one next. For that, we're going to need a, we haven't seen Thelma for the last class or so, have we? We see Thelma, I haven't seen her today. Let me catch up with Thelma and see what's going on. Okay. So let's get our other five by seven. We need our mirror board. We're going to want this pretty little gold filigree strip. We're going to want our little flower packet. We're going to want our foam squares. And I think that will do it. Okay, let's fold that. So Mary T says that she doesn't travel well, <coughs> but she wishes that she could come to Portland. And both Diane and Mary R said, we have a great time doing it online and have good crafting and good chats. And uh, she said that the thing about this group, Mary R said, the thing about this group is that we all come from different areas and backgrounds, but we all love to craft. Yes, indeed. Say hi to mom. Oh! Hi, Grinda. Welcome, welcome. Nice to have you out there, Glinda. I miss seeing you in person, but maybe before too long. Alice wants to know what I'm working on now that I am back. <laughs> oh, I've got lots in the works. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, and Emma and I pulled up our flooring down in the craft space last night. Wow. Half of it. I pulled it and she chucked it out the door. Okay. So that was great. Um, and I've got a guy coming to work on the very bad damage that was done to our house by having somebody put pavers up against the siding. Uh, There's some water damage there. So, uh, he and I worked on part of that yesterday and he's going <coughs> to come back and, and work on it some more. And then crafting wise, I'm working on a diamond painting with a flamingo. And I, we've got a few Margie makes that we need to record um, that I have already completed. And then my next step is to work on the next peony prompts, there which you go. I will be doing with you tomorrow night. Okay. I mean, you will be working on yours and I will be working on mine. There we go. Will that work? 
That will work. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hopefully I answered the question. <laughs> okay, my um, card is just a little bit longer than my mirror board, so I'm going to trim my card just a bit. Say hello to Roberta. Hello, Roberta. I was wondering where you were, friend. Okay, now this one we're going to landscape. We're going to put it on widthwise, and we have to be careful here because we are going to have to trim these flowers down a bit at the bottom in order to get our card on widthwise and not run our flamingo heads clear to the top of our card. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Goodness, goodness. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is cut my card to six and three quarters wide. So I'm not messing with my other flamingo on the other side. Next, I'm going to trim a bit off the bottom here. I'm going to trim it right pretty close to the bottom of that flower. So I'm trimming about a quarter of an inch off, it looks like, maybe just a tad more. And, oh, Roberta. Okay, and we want this to be four and three quarters wide, which will allow us to still go above the heads of our flamingos. Let me just see where that's going to be. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. I could take just a little bit more off the bottom. I think I will. Just about an eighth more, maybe. What I love about this cutter pillar trimmer with the light is you can see where the cut line's going to be, and that allows you to be able to make decisions like, do I want to cut more off the bottom? so I don't come too close up on my birds. Okay, and that ends up being perfect. I love that. Okay, now we have our filigree piece to put down. I'm going to put that on. It doesn't really matter if I put it on before or after, actually. It should just fit. This filigree piece is like four and three quarters, so it might be, if it's just a tad off, just center that between the two like this is, I don't know, I might have less than a sixteenth of an inch difference. Let's see, what am I going to use to catch my extra, <clears throat> my extra blue? Um... Oh, this is a nice heavy piece of paper. I could do this. This is fine. Okay. So, this die is from the Tattered Lace Tall Die Set, which we're going to be using Tall Stepper. And we're, we're going to be using the Tall Stepper die to create the Stepper card. This I'm glad you asked because. This die set is available in our store. It's called the Tall Stepper, and it's the one that I did the horse on. I love that one. It yes. works so great for DL sizes. It's beautiful, too. And the filigree is just spectacular in it. So I cut this piece and the stepper die card from that so you guys could see that i will link that set in the newsletter for today's class it doesn't take long for this to get tacky but you do wait for this to get just a little tacky before you put it down <clears throat> and it doesn't take long at all it's already sticking quite well to my finger diane wants to know what glue you are using that is the Nouveau Large Glue Pen. I'm loving that. Margie was in here one night when we were crafting using that. 
And I watched her and said, hey, I want to try that. I tried it and I said, I want one of those. And she said, well, I'm not going back downstairs. I said, okay. She said, do you want this one? And I said, yes. <laughs> I had just opened it. <laughs> Oops. I, I didn't get quite enough on here, though. It didn't stick great, so I'm going to put a little more on. But that's just love, right, Debbie? Just yep. Love. Do you want this one? Mom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'll get myself another one if you want this one. Okay. <laughs> you know, you have a real craft buddy when she give you her glue. <laughs> I know where I can get more. That's true. <laughs> and like the best glue ever, this glue works best tacky, and it gets tacky as it dries. So I'm letting it get tacky, and then it won't take but just a minute, and then we can go ahead and we can put this down on a card and see that's a really nice fit <laughs> a really nice fit <coughs> okay we're gonna go ahead and put this popper oh teddy just came in and he's so excited to maul margie he's so excited to maul margie <laughs> Don't. No, I don't like doggy kisses. I love you, but I don't like doggy kisses. Uh, well, impromptu Teddy Cam here. Hi. I caught him. Hi. Hi. Can you say hi to everybody? Can you sit? Here. Can you lay down? Oh, yes. I love those puppy kisses. I love those puppy kisses. He came Pass roaring into the shop and <laughs> <coughs> jumped all over Margie. Hey, Teddy. He said, but I'm not about to. I'm just a little too energetic to, to stay here, Mom. I think I have to play. I think I have to go play somewhere. Oh, he said, well, I, I could I could be convinced to just, oh, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, away we go. All right. <laughs> little impromptu teddy cam. Okay. <clears throat> okay. They say they want to see Teddy when they can, so I figured I had him. Might as well ask along. <laughs> Hi, Teddy. They always see him when he's being sleepy here on the table because he, <laughs> you know, he gets up in Bryce's lap and gets all sleepy and then, you know, is over here yawning and laying over my arm. They never see him when he's being true Ted, except in the video with Fergus, in the <laughs> Teddy and his favorite kitty. That is the true Ted. That is Teddy in all of his glory. I'm going to catch a video one of these nights of him doing figure eights with Bryce. It's the funniest thing you've ever seen. That dog is a wild thing. I know it's hard to believe based on his sweet, cuddly personality he portrays here, but he's a wild thing. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, here we go. We got our borders on. We got our filigree die on. Now, I did not pop out all the filigree in all these dies, so you guys will need to do a little weeding. I figure I share the love. <laughs> I forgot to dig out my leaves, so they're here somewhere. Let me find my leaves. <clears throat> Somewhere here. I oh no! Leave. Roberta dismissed him, but she was getting an ice pack. Uh oh. So rewind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now I did a. If I lay this down here, and I put all my flowers on it, it's going to completely cover up my leaves, or just about cover up my leaves. And we can't have that. We want our leaves nice and pretty and spread out so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take this apart in three pieces i love when you take them apart and it just really makes it expand that size and we're going trick. to spread them all out 
And then we will put our flowers on and it will look like our leaf background is way bigger than it actually is. So that's not going to be as crazy as all that, but I want to get a <laughs> feel for where I'm putting this. So I like that right there. I really like this trick, Debbie. <clears throat> it works really well. Okay, so I'm going to glue this first piece down. Oh, I gotta uh, say. Can you slide your work over a little bit, Debbie? Debbie yes. Really yes, I can. And further, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am loving. I traded in my little um, Sherbond that I was using put that in my class supplies and I grabbed one of these ones with the extra fine tip. I gotta say I'm totally loving it. And I'm gonna glue this little leaf. Roberta was putting on her compression socks when she heard it back. So she's um, trying to do something good for herself. <laughs> and her body. <laughs> and another party part was not agreeing. Oh, darn it. Okay. I'm going to put this satin flower a little bit lower here. Now, your flowers may vary a little bit. They're all pretty. They all come out. Of, and several people have already said, where can I get those flowers? Um, China? <laughs> These are some flowers I've had in my craft stash forever, and I just hadn't had occasion to use them. And when I saw these flamingos, I thought, I think I have some flowers just about that color. And I went and looked, and sure enough, I did. So I included them in your kit. So I'm sorry I don't have them available for sale, but... They are beautiful, and someday if I have occasion to get them, I might put them in a store. They really are pretty. Thank they just need just sharing. the right job, to, just the right place to go. Thank and you now for sharing we, them, Debbie. You're welcome. Okay, and then we still need our tag. And I love the way this looks. It just adds an interesting balance and element to pull this, to put this tag on unevenly and make it lean more towards the birds. See that? You know, it's not centered. We get into centering everything and sometimes we miss opportunities for making things, you know, kind of creating the balance What this does ultimately is kind of offset the weight of the flowers a little bit by pulling it over here further. So <clears throat> I'm going to put some foam squares under here. Extra one there because I had it on my finger. Not everything needs to be centered. Sometimes it's better if it's not. So I'm going to come in here, put this like right here, kind of counterbalance that big flower. And there we go. You can see the two look slightly different. That's cool. Okay. We're done with three cards. We're down to two to go, guys. Let's do the European A6 with the flamingos next. <clears throat> and this one I did use mirror board, so somewhere here hiding is a piece of mirror board. Let's cover a card with Mary. Say hello to Anne Hi, Anne. Welcome, friend. Very simple make, isn't it? 
Nice to have you with us, Anne. Where are you from, Ann? I'm Debbie, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. <clears throat> or sort of Portland, Tiger to Oregon. Oh, after the lives, okay. Cool, well, I'm glad you could sign in today. That's fun. From Ohio, okay, excellent. All right. I'm going to cover my card in this mirror board ever so quickly. As you know, I just put it on with a couple pieces of tape and then I Trim it down. All right. Next, we're going to <laughs> little stray foam square there. Next, I'm going to cut this piece of cardstock down to fit our topper. My card is European A6, so it is four and an eighth. I'm going to cut this topper down to be three and seven eighths. Or this layer, I guess it's more layer than a topper. Three and seven eighths. I think I just got that crooked as I was cutting it. I felt a pull out of place, so we'll trim that just a bit more to get that nice and even. Let's see how that's going to look. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Okay, a little wider margin because I did that. I've got that up there. Actually, I'm done with that, so just for safety purposes, I'm going to unplug that since I know I'm done with it. All right. And my card is five and five eighths in, or excuse me, five and seven eighths inch long. So this I'm going to cut to five and five eighths, maybe just a little less since my margins are wide on the other piece. And that's going to be perfect. There we go. Um, Betty was asked which corner are we using. Sorry, I was crawling under the <coughs> grass and stuff that I'm putting in. Okay, stock. I'm using the the remaining corner off of the um off the flamingo paper and this was up i think like this on your card and i turned it and i'm putting the decorative corner in the upper i guess that's the upper right as i'm looking at it in the upper right of my card <clears throat> We're also going to be using the flamingo topper and love is in the air. I'm going to put this topper on with <laughs> I have these little stray foam square pieces that are driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm going to put some tape flags on here. I want to make sure that my tape does not hang out under my layers. So trim that off a little bit or fold it back on itself, whichever is easier. 
My daughter Jordan is visiting Maine right now, Roberta. She's somewhere out on the coast of Maine with some friends. <clears throat> I don't know what town. <clears throat> Okay, use my tape flags to get my topper or my layer on straight. <clears throat> is that hunky dory Mary cardstock? Is that the, does that say Mary? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> yes, that's uh, that's Mary Matt <clears throat> from Hunky Dory. We tend to use a lot of those in our cards, and because I just love the effect that you get with them. <clears throat> I'm going to put some foam squares down under my frame. About one every inch or so. I usually get the job done nicely. <clears throat> we do have a kit available for this, and just in case you didn't know that, uh, Margie, can you link that for us? Yes. Put I the kit can. out there in the comments. Uh, Stephanie is heading out. Oh, good night, Stephanie. See you later, friend. Nice of you to drop in. <clears throat> Yes, absolutely. Hunky Dory does a heck of a job with their stuff, and they really outdid themselves with this Animal Kingdom collection. It's really quite beautiful. In fact, I've gone back into the Hunky Dory site and um, had occasion to look at some of these. Almost everything in Animal Kingdom has gone now. Because they're just beautiful. We ordered a nice supply when we got it, so we're not at risk yet, but we will be. There will come a time when you won't be able to get it anymore. Okay, I'm going to center this on my layer. And this time, I'm going to actually recess this one. I kind of wanted this to look like a picture frame or a window with uh, birds in the background. So I'm going to put a little of my glue around the edge of my frame. Maybe just a little X in the middle to hold that nicely. And I'm going to pop this topper right down inside that frame. Just give that a little bit more dimension. I'm going to put my love is in the air on some foam squares. So we'll have three layers. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness. It's dry here and the dust is moving. That's the coughs and the sneezes. Excuse me. I don't know why it said that twice, but it says that link twice. Well, okay. Well, we won't be missing it. And I'm going to go back in and this was the kit that specifically includes all your toppers and your printed card stock. For the people that purchased the luxury kit, I am getting your link currently that is all the extras in order to make these <clears throat> exact cards. Here we go. This one's done. It turned out pretty. How simple. And it's just gorgeous. <clears throat> this one, I really like the little bit wider border on this one. And how it just, they're both beautiful though. Okay, we have one left. How are we doing for time, Margie? Uh, it is 5.05. So oh, we're doing great. time and be able to have your show up. Yes, we are. We're doing great. Okay, I've got a DL card. 
I've got a DL mirror mat we're going to use, put down here. We're going to need, let's see, uh, we will need some foam squares and we'll need our piece of decorative paper that's in your kit. This is, this piece is not hunky dory. Everything else is. This piece comes out of one of my, uh, craft stash books. Um, and I did that one twice too. Sorry guys. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Oh, uh, it won't hurt to have it twice. It hurts if we don't have it at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. probably because we're listed under Facebook. As <clears throat> oh, okay. A link, and then there's a link to the YouTube version. Okay. So that might be why we're seeing it pop up twice. All right. So I'm going to put my mirror board on here. And again, this is going to be a tight fit, so we might have a little trimming to do. No big deal. I cap my glue bottle so it's not non-functional when I go to use it. Get my tape out here. We're doing a good job of just using every little scrap of this kit, I tell you. We'll have five cards in total. I think our kit price, what was our kit price, Margie? Can you look at that for me? I think our kit price is like, it's, what is it? It's uh, eight fifty for those that already have the luxury kit, and it is twelve ninety nine for those. So twelve ninety nine, you get five beautiful cards. I think that works out to well, I know it works out to less than three dollars a card. It might it must be somewhere in the area of two dollars or two seventy five a card. We only see it linked once for each kit. Oh, that's good. I think and Margie figured it out. I think the link was going once to Facebook and once to once to YouTube. So that's probably why we you guys are only seeing it once. But that's good. It goes both places. <clears throat> Learn something new every day. Okay. We have just the tiniest bit of white left at the top of there. And I have no compunction about trimming that off. You know, these cards all vary just a little bit. And you get a good trimmer when you can do that. Trim that little tiny bit off. The trimmer I keep talking about is my cutter pillar. I love my cutter pillar. Now, again, we've measured this before, but let's measure it again. It's just a little tiny bit. I uh, like a 16th under four inches wide. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and cut my background paper. And I want that to give me a quarter inch margin. So I'm going to go 1 16th under. Oh, under. Yeah, I guess that's right. I'm going to go 1 16th under three and three quarters. That should give me a good width. And it does. Although my top and bottom margins are just a little bit bigger, so I'm going to take another 16th or so off of Annette this. Says hello. hello, Annette. Okay, there we go. Now this should be a perfect fit. And sometimes we just have to kind of lay things out and adjust accordingly. So there we go. We've got a nice border around that. Let's go ahead and put this one down with some tape. We'll do some tape flags here. I did not <clears throat> include inserts in this kit. So if you're doing the whole set with us, I recommend that you, whether you buy the luxury kit or whether you buy the individual kits, I recommend you get one set of, oops, I wanted to tape like that. I recommend that you get one set of, one package of inserts for your cards because they will look really beautiful. 
I just didn't include them in the kit, so I haven't been using them here, but I'm going back and putting inserts in because I love the finished look of an insert in a card. The inserts are beautiful. I can show them to you if you want to see them. Maybe we'll take a quick perusal through that. I believe I have it back here. Okay, this time we're going to use the hummingbirds. And we're going to use both of these toppers. One hummingbird is done in a three-piece topper. And one hummingbird is done in a two-piece topper. One is slightly larger than the other then. We used everything off of our element sheet except this tiny little peacock. And I'm going to put this on the inside of my card. <clears throat> okay. Now this is where I started out looking at these. And I laid these both out and thought, hmm. A little bit more yeah. How do I want to do this? And then I realized this one had three pieces, so I popped my elements apart. Now, because this has three pieces, the actual topper on the inside is slightly smaller because we have the gold ring with this one. And the frame is a little narrower. This one, the frame is wider and the inside topper is actually bigger. But the outside dimensions of the two frames are the same. Okay, so I'm going to I kind of bump those together in the middle and make sure that they are about the same distance from the edges. So I'm going to glue these down. It doesn't hurt when you're gluing down an element like this to actually run your finger along the glue a little bit and smooth it so you don't have any bumpies. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. How are you doing keeping up, Betty? You doing okay, Betty Gozzel? I should have asked you that earlier, and I didn't. I'm sorry, friend. I should have asked you. I'm relying on you to tell me to slow down if you need okay. more time. Say hello to Ruth Ann. Hi, Ruth Ann. And Annette, in her process of unpacking, has Yay! found that she has a crazy... I have crazy. I have cosmic stuff and itty bitty living space. <laughs> okay. Sorry about the tummy flash there. <laughs> okay. Now I want to put this ring in between here and I want to just center that ring on the two so that I have kind of a, a nice layout there. Okay. Doing okay. All right. I'm going to just glue this ring. Be sure you tell me. I'm relying on you to tell me when I have to stop for a second, Betty, because I've made these cards before, so it's not fair to just fly ahead if I'm, you know, getting all carried away. All right, so now we have this. And we're going to take our, now I did position these intentionally. This ruby thre uh, throated bird, I want him facing into the card and his, this is a bigger topper than the other one. So I'm going to position this right at the bottom of my card. Let me show you what I mean there. Instead of being up here, I'm going to position him clear down to the bottom 
of this ring. Okay. And I'm going to put him on some foam squares, give it a little extra dimension. I knew this would be pretty in the Wow, the must-sees in New York City this Christmas. Good for you. Wow, fun. Okay, so I'm going clear to the bottom with that, and I'm just going to kind of try and center it in that topper so that if you just ignore where this ring comes down, you kind of have a crescent moon, an even crescent moon over the top of that. So you want that moon to be nice and even there. Okay. This time I'm going to put my top or my foam squares on this one. And I'm not going clear to the top of the ring. We're coming down from the top this time, but we're not coming down from the edge of the ring. We're coming down from the inside edge of the ring because this topper is smaller. So instead of coming clear up here to the top, which would leave an uneven amount of space, I'm coming down from the inside ring, which will give me just about the same amount of space that the other one had. There we go. Here's the green, which I think turned out beautiful, but I think the pink turned out beautiful too. In fact, I think the reds show up more, maybe on the pink. Both are pretty. Some get one, some get the other. Just the luck of the draw. So we have made five cards from our kit today. Let's bring those back in and take a final look at those. Talk about what we've done. Okay. We have foam squares left, we have jewels left, and that's pretty much what we have. <laughs> okay, so we made this one using our circles. We made this one using our Kathy bow. We split our frame in three pieces and let our background show through because it just was too pretty in this case to cover up. And we used our five loop Kathy bow on that one. We made this one <clears throat> and we really highlighted the eyes of our peacock feathers with those little gold holographic dots. We made this one, which was really simple to make. I'm gonna come to the other side. <laughs> Too many cards. Uh, well, always stand them up and then reach over them because that's the way to do it right there. <laughs> there we go. We made this one, which was really simple. The one technique here is raising the frame and recessing the image to kind of make it look like a window or a, to make it look like a window or a frame on a picture and i'm gonna give up on standing those up i'm really not because i'm stubborn that way and then we made this one where we added our fabric flowers we added a piece of filigree two techniques in this one one was in these leaves in the background. We're tearing those leaves apart so that a small leaf cluster can be used on a larger floral. 
And secondly, with this little piece down here, we're not centering it. We're pulling it off to the left to kind of counterbalance the weight of those flowers and give our card some balance. Well, there we go. Betty says, phew. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a lot of work? <laughs> you guys holding your breath for me while we, uh, while we tried to stand those cards up? <laughs> okay. Um, Mary, um, Mary R. has a question about Brits bargain. Yes, I did not announce a new Brits bargain yesterday because we have a lot of stuff going on this week between the um, Craftaganza and the, the um, there's still a lot of you shopping for the three piece topper sets. So I left that Brits bargain in place for one more week. Okay, next class is going to be the Together Always kit with all of our goodies to go with that. Let's take a look at what we're going to make. Whoops. See if I can stand it up straight. There we go. This is the Tall Stepper card the Tattered Lace Tall Stepper card from which I used the filigree piece. And I'll link that in the newsletter. It's a beautiful, beautiful topper set. And that filigree that's on there fits in each one of these stipper sections yes, in order does. to fill it in, but you use the cardstock. Correct. Here is the elk that will be in this kit. I love this card. I just love the colors and the majesty of it. It's a simple card, but it's beautiful. Here is another elk. They call them deer. They're actually elk. Here is our... Sorry, I'm laughing at Annette's comment. She says, I'm also opening things I had ordered and shipped to my Georgia daughter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one I think turned out beautiful with the borders. Oh, I love this one. And this eagle is also in this kit. It turns out beautiful. Now it looks like this kind of covers up the back pieces, but when it's standing, you still see the little back pieces. I'm just holding it up so that you can see it and it causes it to lean back just a little. But this is our Saturday class. Next Thursday, We're doing the Big Wish. Yes, I did glitter those orca and the waves because I thought that in the moonlight they really wanted it. So there's the first orca. Here's the second. Here's the sea turtle on the center step card. Here is one of my favorites. I love the way the little bubbles worked out on the dolphins. I gave you a half sheet of holographic um, dazzled jewels and I love the way that the little bubbles play with the dolphins isn't that just a happy card that's just happy up there it says best wishes and here's my other dolphin 
Love the way the bubbles work. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I love them. I just love them. Okay. Now something brand new. They aren't even glued together yet. So I'm not sure how they're going to show. But we'll give it a shot. Because I made these last night. I haven't even glued them together yet. You know, I can possibly change this up a little bit. See what I can come down on it. Let me see what I can figure out here. This is the butterfly kit. And out of all of them, it was my least favorite. And now I love it. <laughs> Here's the butterflies. There we go. That's good. Because some of these I may have to kind of lay flat. Yeah. There's so I'm ready to angle it how we need okay and here is another butterfly now this will be dimensional like i said these are still a work in process but i couldn't wait to show them to you because they're beautiful i'm getting them so low i can't i can't get in under there we go this one says um wishing you the happiest of birthdays so this one will be done dimensionally. I did use stickles. This one. <laughs> I have slide everything back in place here. I moved them all off of my desk to do class today. But this will be in the middle. the rose and the rose will be raised or more layered lowered i'm not sure which yet and we'll have our little disc off to the side somehow why did i not like this one i don't know i like it now <laughs> it seemed out of place maybe I haven't decided what's what color jewels are going on this one yet. But that's why I have four colors. Maybe you guys can tell me what you like. That would be the good way to solve this. I can't tip it much. There we go. Perfect, Margie. Look at that filigree piece we're putting in here. And what color jewels do we like? We've got fuchsia, purple, AB, or pink. Which colors do you like? You guys can vote on what you want. <laughs> oh, Ruth Ann, but she would love visiting us. Light pink or the purple, pink, fuchsia, pink, purple. purple. Well, you could just make it like that with all the different colors. <laughs> I'm kidding. Pink and green, <laughs> purple, dark. Oh my gosh. You guys are not being helpful. <laughs> <laughs> the filigree is the bomb, isn't it? It will be included in your kit. Well, you haven't you haven't left me with a decision. I see a couple of purples. I see a couple of fuchsias. I see a couple of pinks. I see a couple ABs and greens, which are really the same. That is just throwing a kind of a green cast. So I guess. This one is the fuchsia. <laughs> Aqua pulls out the dragonflies. It does. Okay, I think I'm still on my own. <laughs> okay, and this one, maybe my favorite of all of them. Let me see if I can get this position just right to show you because it's not glued together yet but I do love it look at this filigree work now 
I'm including a die cut, one of each of these die cuts in your kit. And what we will also be offering is for those who purchase the kit, there is going to be an amazing, absolutely amazing offer on these two dice. Woohoo! I'm not going to tell you that yet. I have to cost it out and get it ready to go. I will tell you it will be totally amazing value on these two dice. On uh, this one and the filigree work from this one are both die cuts. And I'm going to include the die cuts in your kit, but I'm going to make a fabulous, fabulous offer on the two dice. Bryce is going to wonder what I did with your camera. <laughs> so there we go. That's what I was working on last night. <laughs> and uh yeah. I love the butterflies now just for the just for the just for the record. I like the butterflies a lot now. The butterflies and dragonflies. I like it very much. We have four card kits done so far from animal kingdom i love four out of four i'm loving this kit it is such great fun to do and they're so so pretty okay do you guys have questions comments or pearls of wisdom anybody have any thoughts that you want to share or questions besides Come on, tell me how much that die set's going to be. <laughs> Which I'm not going to tell you. You'll just have to watch. Ah, I think there are three people that have said Aurora Borealis. Oh, yeah? The ABs? The ABs might win. Well, it'll be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> You'll see who the winner is when the, when the kits are done. This weekend. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Annette got one of the sweet gifts from somebody from one of the crafty friends. Did we say who it was from? Okay. So Roberta sent crafty goodies to people in the boxes. Yes. It's now a Debbie kit with the bling and the gold. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Smash that like button, guys. Thank you very much. And I think that's it for tonight. I will see you on Saturday when we do the Meant to Be Together with the horses and the elk. And we will have a really good time putting those together, too. So until then, let me just say good night, Gracie. See you Saturday. <laughs>